this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV! Let's go win one last race at the Chocobo Racetracks! Now that we've been to Cape Kayam in Chapter 6 when the plot requires us... Why did you just stop in midair? There was nothing in your path! Thanks for the ride. Not even nice close! With you. But yeah, we do got one new race available to us now that we've been to Cape Kayam. There's, uh... Oh, okay, I was wondering what that was. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of things like that that I just don't check out like that because it's not needed for, like, the data log or collection or anything. Hey, y'all here to ride? And, I mean, look at how long it's taking me to get through the game with all the collectibles, let alone without, or without all the optional stuff. But now, we can race against Iris, who... I guess magically teleports here or something. There's a real pretty girl here wants to race you. How's about it? <laughs> oh no. Surprised? Not Iris. All right, not. It's between you and me. Not again. How hard could she possibly be? <gasps> Answer, very. I think this race is impossible without Ready? using Curiel greens. Holy cow. Or another type of greens that I have yet to unlock. But, uh, yeah, I can barely keep up with her as it is. Well, usually I have trouble keeping up with her. I'm not sure why this is going so much more easily than it did in practice. Hmm. Well, I'll just keep on going as fast as I can. I might need to uh, do a quick stamina refill at some point. Whoa! Yeah, she's keeping up really well there. Holy cow. Okay, whenever I got a straight bit of track there. Uh-oh. Uh, go, go, go! There, ah, uh, man, I used a bunch of stamina there. Yeah, this could get bad. Okay, come on. You can make it! Yeah. We got it! Oh, how could I lose? Woohoo! So yeah, we got the... Well, hold on. We got the seventh medal, I think. I mean, I saw that it popped up there. Sometime. Yeah, I'm not sure how she nice gets here. Riding. Congrats! But in any case, we get another medal for winning all of the other medals. Hooray! Don't rest on those laurels, eh? And, well, I am going to rest on those laurels because there's nothing else to do here. This is why I never bothered getting, like, Choco Jackie or Choco Racer because you only need to win six races, or seven races. Five, three, seven. Yeah, no, seven races in order to get all of the collectibles out of it, and that's it. So it's like, why would I spend 32 AP for an ability that's only going to give me 7 at most? Unless you really like Chocobo racing. I mean, it's better than Final Fantasy X, but that's not saying much as far as Chocobos go. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to come back here to make it daytime because it was getting a little close tonight there. And I also want to do a timed quest before wrapping up the chapter. And I need to go to Telpar Rest Area for that one. Now that we have the Thunderbolt, we can handle these enemies a lot more easily. So, oh, ah, there we go. Now that we have the Thunderbolt, we can give it to Noctis to help him out. And I don't know if I'm going to need these, but I'm going to hold on to Quadcast Fyraga in the event that the Curls decide to make an entrance. Sometimes the time quests despawn enemies, but other times they don't. It's, it's kind of weird how they handle that. So I don't know how precisely that all works. I also want to get a couple repair kits as well for a couple more broken car quests that for some reason only become available after reaching Cape Kayam 
in Chapter 6 when the plot requires you to do so. So, yeah, another rather oddly specific... Uh, what is it? Yeah, sequence trigger there. Not like Mystic Arc. No, no, we're not talking crazy, but... Uh, yeah, these ones trigger in the middle of the chapter, not at the beginning, like almost everything else in the game. I don't know. But uh, yeah, why don't we uh, get another day of Tokubo on our rentals? And then we'll head on over to the valley, or whatever you call that. Easy now. The pass over there. If I can ever find the path around here. See, I know there's a main path here, like a dirt road or something. Or we could just fight a bunch of these guys first. Why not? Whoa! Getting a little uh, rambunctious there, guys. Let's uh, try to go a little farther away. Or not. We can do it this way, too. Is anyone going to attack me when they say they are? Okay, are we good now? Okay. I was kind of hoping to get another... Oh, there's the path. Right. Yeah, I was hoping to get another, uh, or my MP refilled at the end there, but, uh, nope, nope. See, I know there are a couple treasures around here, though I'm not looking at my map at the moment. <sighs> but, uh, if I happen to see them, I'll go for them. But, uh, yeah, let's leave the Chocobo out of this one. Although, I am kind of hoping to be able to show off the Link Strike. Or there's a particular link strike that I would like to show, but I don't know how to make it trigger properly. It's a, a glitchy one, too. So maybe we'll have an opportunity later. But otherwise, let's get our Thunderbolt ready because these guys are weak to great swords and thunder let's move. Yeah. for boss time. So yeah, we can just take out the Sapphire Tails one by one. Or sometimes multiples at a time if they're close enough to each other Let's see okay it doesn't look like or maybe they are or not I, I was gonna say it looks like they're trying to attack me but failing miserably but uh yeah the chapter tails are much easier to kill than the reaper kings so let's just keep going with that if i have an opportunity to use dawn hammer so much the better whoa all in together now. How about this? Yeah, look at that damage. Whoop. Okay, we can uh, go with that. Now, if I get another Reaper King, is that one? Yes, it is. Let's get a Dawn Hammer on this guy. They do have quite a bit of HP compared to the other guys. But otherwise, um, yeah, let's kill the little guys for better AP. Or not. I thought the Reaper King was going to try and attack me, but... uh. They, their aim could use a little work, I suppose. Okay, let's get a blind side. There you go. Oh, holy crap! Wow, that was a lot. With just a one hit. Okay, let's go for a uh, Dawn Hammer before a blind side, since this guy seems to be rather fickle about that. Okay, we got him. Actually, with uh, Ignis. Oh, you already have the Stormlands. I, I knew that. Let's see, probably got, yeah, some more Reaper Kings. Looks like the uh, Curls decided not to pay a visit. Haha! -ha. Well, if you're not going to attack me, or let me blindside you, then we're going to go with finishers. Whoop! Okay, we can... Whoa! What was that? Well, anyway, it looks like there's like a flash... A light or something. Maybe from Blink there. Haha! -ha! Okay, where's the rest of you guys? There we go. Whoa! I suppose I could use my Armager. Which, by the way, that reminds me. Uh, I will eventually show the Armager tutorial. Maybe I'll do that today. But I, I haven't forgotten about it since... Chapter 5. I've never actually checked it out before. But, uh, okay, yeah. This guy now. Okay. Get a Dawn Hammer going for you. 
Yeah, unfortunately, we can't just uh, break the damage limit there yet. Okay, a couple more. Just chilling out back there. That's fine. Uh, there you go. Looks like that guy was trying to attack me, but couldn't, like, track my position or something. Kind of weird. Okay, let's see if we can get in at least one more. Uh, Dawn Hammer here. There you go. Or you could just attack the completely wrong enemy. Why not? Well, whatever works. And it's like, is anyone going to attack me? Okay, then I'll attack you. Yeah, Limitless Link is pretty broken. You know what? Let's get one more Dawn Hammer in there. I really want to get some more work in there. If I can. Let's just kind of walk around and uh, not parry. Just block the attack. That's all you need to do. Uh-oh. Wow, this guy's getting really aggressive. Okay, one more Dawn Hammer. And if I don't get the AP, that's fine. Okay, let's uh, get out of here before the curls respawn. Oh, there's a treasure there. Okay, we can grab that and then get out of here. Well, at least we got a couple of debased coins out of here today. But uh, yeah, get out of there. Okay, I think we're, we're in the clear. Okay, so now let's go to the recovery tree to learn a couple new abilities. This one could be useful for us whenever I need to rescue someone. I think these also proc whenever you use the regroup uh, technique with Ignis because that removes the danger status. Someone was telling me about that. So yeah, maybe I'll check that out. Let's see, these ones are not extraordinary. I can just get the second win, so why would I care about that? But uh, let's see, this one I don't really care about, but it leads to other abilities, these various first aid abilities. So now, despite the in-game description there, they don't require a like an item or something, or a first aid kit or something to actually use it. That's just, it's just meant figuratively, not literally. But basically each one, the regular or the original first aid restores, I think, 20% of your max HP when they get low on HP. Then the next one restores 40. The next one restores 60%. And I think, like, the upper tiers, hey, like, give you a uh, buff you to your to vitality Seven and eight. spirit yeah. or something or other. They're basically free passive healing abilities so that I don't have to use items to get the job done either. And that'll be really, really useful in a particular post-game dungeon. You know the one, viewers. But yeah, I mean, they're pretty good healing abilities to help out with a little bit of survival. A nice change of pace. I probably won't need them in the main storyline, but I can't really think of anything else that would be useful in the main storyline at this point. So we might as well start looking at those abilities. Let's see, I thought I'd pay a visit to Battle of Minds because now we've got a broken car quest we can do. Ah, there it is. So, yeah, this is one of the very few side quests that proc in the middle of a chapter, not at the beginning of one, which is especially odd given that it's not a really long chapter. I mean, none of them are really long, but this is pretty short anyway nice riding with you but uh yeah just my luck i need to go home i need to go home too but they won't let me but uh yeah we can uh help you out there finally thanks for the help have you tried murdering people to get home faster <laughs> any better i mean that's what i'm doing or at least i'm trying but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, get that out of there. And then, let's see, we need to go to Golden Key. Hmm. Let's see, I think the quest is, like, right there. Oh, yeah, it's definitely faster. From Golden Key, I was thinking, well, maybe we could drive down there or something. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, we should get down there. It's getting a little close. 
to uh, dusk there. And besides, I might want to rest up at Golden Key for the hotel anyway. And I think that's it for the... What is that? Uh, for the side quests that we can do in Chapter 6. But uh, yeah, let's uh, drive. Yeah, might as well go Time manual go. here. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to go anyway. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. There was a spot up north where it kind of looks like a parking spot. And it isn't, though. But someone decided to use it as a parking spot as it should be anyway. So we might as well just drive up there. Well, I suppose I could have taken the chocobo up there, but that's eh, a little bit of a, a ride there. And this one will be quick enough anyway. Ah, there you go. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> Everybody out. <sighs> Getting a little rambunctious there, Noctis. You can stop now. Do we have to walk? Yes, five feet. Okay, maybe twenty feet. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, help the guy out. Oh, thank goodness you're here. My car is stuck. Well, at least you picked a remotely logical location to have or to t pull your car over. Unlike some of the other ones. What a relief. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, get that going. I call that a job well done. Indeed. Okay, with that amount of experience, mm, not really worth going to Golden Key just for that. But we are already here. Yeah, we might as well go down there. Okay, so... Yeah, let's get back there and... Rest up before finishing up the chapter. Then we'll have to go to Cape Kayan there. I forget who's the very last person we need to talk to in order to wrap up the chapter. I will also want to make some changes to my setup. But uh, let's get our business done here first, and then we'll take care of that. Hmm, I'm surprised those TVs don't... Could use a break. Like, Wuss. suffer... Welcome to Golden Key. Like, damage from the elements. I mean, I know it never rains here, but, I mean, we're practically outdoors all the time. I don't know. But, uh, okay. Would you be staying the night with us? Get that going. And let me see if I can check out the little armature tutorial they got. Well, I can't really see what's going on. I think that was Iris. What's with your face? What? Who said you could take this? It looks perfectly normal to me. What is maybe he's a little cross eyed? I don't know. Whatever it is. But uh what was that? Yeah, I can't really make it out. I think that's Iris, though. But anyway. Hmm? What was that? Oh, I think... Is that Gentiana there? I think that's her. It's kind of hard to tell. But, okay. Yeah, I didn't have uh, time to take Who very many you? snaps. Yeah, I know. Why you gotta be so photogenic? Well, that is a nice picture for a non-warp strike. And how did you take a picture of yourself there like that? I don't know, but yeah, let's go with uh, this picture to save from this round. Better make tracks. Chop chop, Prompto. There it is. Okay, so hey. yeah, let's get to back to Cape Kayam first and uh, make a backup save. When we get there. Okay, so... Yeah, Cape Kayam is listed up with all the other outposts. Even though they 
don't have a tipster here or anything like that. But we've got Sid here now, along with Talcott and Iris. So what is that yellow thing on top of that place anyway? I don't know. What, there are main quests? I thought the whole game was just side quests. We're here. It is quite comforting to see other people about. Even the ones that allow us to advance the plot don't really advance it that much. <laughs> well, that'll change soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Still got a ways to go, but for now, let's get down, well, closer to the lighthouse. Easy now. And let's see, there's one more item that we can get here. Now that uh, we've made this our base of operations, so to speak. Let's see, is there anyone out back Thanks yet? The ride. Let's nice see, because I know eventually some, a couple people will show up here. Oh, it looks like we got something going on here. A little plot of land. But uh, no one's using it, I guess. Well, we can take it for ourselves. What's this thing anyway? Like an ice chest or something? Or maybe something for the air condition. I don't know. But, uh, okay, yeah. Let's uh, make a little backup save here. And see what we can do with the tutorial. If I can find the armature one. I don't think I've ever touched the armature tutorial. Seen Pretty straightforward to me. But maybe I can skip a little dialogue here. Let's see, we got a, a new one available. Oh, okay, we could just go through that again. Hey, Carbuncle, how's it going? Haven't seen you in a little while. Haven't really needed your help. Uh, what, dude? But, uh, yeah. I know. Can we... Hmm. I guess I can't go through this more quickly. Okay, we can just do that then. Okay, so... Hmm. Practice drills? Let's see. We got Royal Arms. I think that's a new one. I think that is the new one. Not... I thought it was Armager or something. What do we got with combat? Okay, nothing there. But, uh... Yeah, I think the Royal Arms are what is... Are the new tutorial. Now that we're sufficiently leveled up. Well, let's see what they got for us. I mean, I can use them as much as any other weapon. But there's very little reason to... Okay, yeah, we do get a little armager tutorial, I guess, as part of this or something. But, uh, yeah, we can, uh, give that a little try there. Well, I don't have any of my friends with me. But, uh, yeah, let's give it a try. What are you doing? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Okay, let's see what we got. So... What can we use here? Yeah, let's go with the Axe of the Conqueror. Whoa! Yeah, all of the Royal Arms have different effects. Oh! Wow, that didn't go as planned. Could have sworn I, uh... Whoa! Yeah, let me get my Armager Bar full and then put that to use. Like, there is one royal arm that I really do like that I haven't gotten yet. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, so press L1 and R1 to use the armature. And then when it's almost done, land on the ground, press L1, R1. Oh. Okay, I guess that happened a little too quickly. Let's uh, try that one again, pal. So yeah, you could just do basic attacks. 
or warp strike. So generally, if I'm going to use a royal arm, I prefer to use warp strikes. Why can't I parry? That's like the second time where I clearly was able to press the button in time, but I still didn't parry anyway. Can I, like, not parry with this thing? Okay, let's try that again. Armager. Then just hold down the circle button to go nuts with it. And then... Okay, when it's almost out, although I'm going to do this a little earlier because I screwed it up the last time, press L1, R1 again. Then you get Armager Chain for one last boost of damage there. Or you could just totally whiff the guy. Why not? So I guess not really that much more than we used before, huh? But yeah, you see with most Armager, or most Royal Arm attacks, you're going to lose some HP for using it, and it's not that much more powerful than your regular stuff. So why bother using it? I mean, unless you got some, like, really special effects going on, which most of them are not that extraordinary. Yeah, I can't really see a use to it very much. Maybe if you're, like, at really low levels, they might be more useful. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, manually dodge here. But yeah, when you're in Armager status, then the Royal Arms don't use up your HP. They don't consume your HP to damage enemies. But yeah, I guess that's all there is to it. So yeah, let's just uh, get out of here back to where we were before and wrap up the chapter. Mm, I would have thought they would have shown me a little more with that, but, uh, no, apparently not. A complete waste of time, as it were. But, uh, yeah, we're just about done, and I need to uh, adjust my equipment coming up here. I want to remove all of my equipment from Gladio. You'll see why in just a moment. So I think I'll give the Moogle Charms and the Friendship Bands to Ignis and Prompto. And we're going to need some Confusion Immunity as well coming up here. It would be very, very useful. Okay, so Gladio, yeah, you... Well, I'll leave him with his weapons because I'm never going to use them. Just give him, well, whatever you think you might need. Okay, so let's go with Fyra, since we're going to run into some enemies weak to that. See, Thunderbolt is really good, and you could go with the Ice Spear, but I'd rather have the Drain Lance in the event that we encounter Imperials, or, well, more specifically, Magitek units. And then everything else, I'll just leave the same here. And then, okay, let's give you... One of the Moogle Charms. How are we doing on experience there? Yeah, pretty good. But, uh, yeah, let's see. So, yeah, Ignis and Prompto are further behind experience from... Uh, what was it? From Noctis. So, yeah, we'll just go with that. And a good Rainbow Pendant. One of the more common enemies... Or a couple of them can confuse you. But I will give you an Ice Spear. And yeah, we'll just stick to non-elemental daggers. I don't think I have any elemental daggers. But uh, okay, Snapshot. Always good. And then, okay, yeah, let's get you... Friendship Band. And Dependent. I think that's all we're going to need. Okay, so, well, yeah, let's talk to Talc at first. I think Miss Cindy might have told you already, but she needs a very special kind of ore called Mithril. Something like that. that. Remember the waterfall? I read in Grandpa's notebook. There's some ruins near a lake just north of there. Oh, really? You said you'll find Mithril inside. 
So, what do we do? Just mine underwater or something? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, before moving on here, let's see what else we got. Well, we got a little bit of furniture. And, let's see, up here, well, we got a couple things. We got a new treasure, just like with the, what is it, the tombstone there. And, let's see, we got our own little uh, resting place, although it's not really worth it. I don't think I've ever used it other than maybe to advance the time of day. But, otherwise, not too extraordinary. Okay, so, yeah, let's see. I think talking to Iris will advance the plot, but uh, let's see what we got. At that lake. Pretty sure he was talking about the Vesper Pool. Oh. I asked Monica to look into it, and she told me the road leading there is under Imperial Lockdown. You nice. want to be prepared for anything. So, how's that coming along? But, uh, yeah, I think we're good to go then. Yeah, just give us a second. Hmm? Uh... Okay. What do you mean? I'll be inside then. Well, goodbye! What's going on, Gladio? So, yeah. Gonna have to ask you to handle this boat business without me. So what, what do you mean? I got some business of my own to deal with. What business? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Are you gonna charge us for DLC to find out? Spoiler alert! They do! So... Uh, let's see. Ask how long. I think this is the response I want to give. Yeah. Gives us the best reward. Be long. Not long enough for you to miss me. Yeah, we get a couple EP. But, uh, okay. So I guess we're only going to have the three of us for some reason. So with, uh, with this part, this is where the episode Gladio is going to be happening. But I'm going to save that, or at least I'm planning on saving it, for after completing the post-game and all that. The post-post-game, as it were. Because some of those episodes have really, really big spoilers to the plot later in the game. Not so much with Gladio, but the other two definitely have really big spoilers. Or, well, the other three, really. So, but we'll get to those soon enough, viewers, soon enough. But, uh, okay, yeah, I think we're done with our business there. Let's head on north to the Vesper Pool. Finally get access to the rest of the overworld. Or, uh, spoiler alert, we're going to get access to the area that we need access to. Let's see what we got going on. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for sending the magical dog instead of getting a cell phone. Maybe Noctis was planning on giving one to her as a, a wedding gift or something. I don't know. Yeah, thanks for waking up the guy that gave me a really, really killer headache for like 30 hours of side quests. Or however many they, it took. Well, we're okay still. So, I guess it all worked out. Okay, I want to try moving the camera around here as we're going. What do you mean, several days later? The Northful cave was right around here. That means hmm. the lake should be somewhere north of here. Be wary, though. When we go, the Empire seems to follow. That's the idea. But fortunately, we haven't made our car into a gigantic flashlight for them to find. So, oh, it's open. Hmm. Wait. Uh-oh. What happened to under Imperial Lockdown? They all but turned the key and left the gates open for us. Hmm. As if awaiting our arrival. And if anyone's waiting for us? I bet it's that guy. That Chancellor is Zunia. Can't complain, as long as he lets us in. Yeah! He used to say he'll let us out. Not to mention we're a man down. Would that the Marshal were with us. Where is oh, he, yeah. anyway? Whatever happened to that guy? 
As I understand it, he's put his tomb raiding on hold to help the hunters take care of some troublesome beasts. We didn't kill all of them? The immortal. Hmm. But, okay. Gee, yeah, we're driving manually now, so I gotta hold down the accelerator. Let's see, as far as the map goes, let's see, I think there's some company Everybody up ahead. Through. It's a trap! Well, now we can't leave the Vesper Pool for the duration of the chapter. So we're going to have to take out some other guys as well. Oh, I forgot about my... Uh... Oh, no, I do have everything that I need here. Right. No Carry problem. on! But uh, let's see, let's go with uh, Thunderbolt. Okay, let's see, get them right at the ankles there. And let's see, I don't have a food buff going at the moment. But I can go for some kills. Oh, those guys are actually strong against that. Hmm. Well, at least we still got the... Uh, what was that? Uh, the AP from killing those guys. Well, if you didn't get a Cactar Needle earlier, you do now. Let's get a little treasure while we're around here as well. Eventually, I'll call the Chocobo. Okay, so under this bridge... See, there's ac there actually should be a couple things. Ah, there we go. Okay, I think that's the first one. Okay, where are we? No, there should have been one in the other area. Hmm... Let me see, relative to... Yeah, it's not really a landmark for me to go by. Glad he'll be back anytime soon. Nope! It would help if we knew what he was up to. Hmm. Okay, I know there's like a little magazine or something around here. Ah, there it is! And for reading that one, we get a new recipe! Okay, and then, now, for the entire area of the Vesper Pool, the original map that I found didn't really list a whole lot around here. Let's go. So, I did the best I could scouring the entire region for treasure. It is highly likely that there are some that I have not found. But I will do the best they can, I can. Not to mention, this area is not even as big as the lead. Thanks for the ride. This is actually still considered part of Plain, <laughs> as far as all that goes. But uh, yeah, Platinum Ingot, worth a lot of money there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can't. Uh, yeah, we still got the blockades going on here. Hopefully you got a hint from the tipster about that side quest there for Dave finding another dog tag. If you don't, you're screwed. No. No. Uh, you just, uh, well, you can still find it on your own and just be slightly more difficult without knowing where it is. But, uh, okay, got that. Hey, all right. Okay, so as far as treasure goes... Let's get back to the car first. And then I'll think about how I want to go about this. Maybe pick up one more treasure. There's one, like, right about there or so. Yeah, I want to get that before getting into the car. And then we'll proceed to the yeah, parking now. spot. We got to go to the... Stalith Grove, for some reason. I mean, we gotta find Mithril, but I don't know how we know the name of the place. But that is where we need to go to advance the plot. Ah, there we go. Just a little treasure. There we go. Okay, yeah, let's uh, get back to the car. And there's a photo op quest that we can get while we're in the area. So let's go grab that. You know what, let's drive manually for now. 
Time to go. Mm -hmm. So I can take care of everything, and then we'll be fine. I'm not gonna you do the photo op quest yet because I want. What do you say we well, take yeah, a let's souvenir do this. shot? But uh, yeah, we can go do that eventually. Yeah, go for it. Woohoo! But uh, I want to save the quest for a little later. Ah, the uh, the car is moving on its own. But, uh, yeah, we gotta go down to about the parking spot. I don't want to do the quest yet until we have another character. Just because we can. There's nothing really special. Well, appropriately themed music, I, I think. For, given the mystery of the area where we are. You got a huge lake in the middle of this place and your chocobos can even swim across it and you'll need to in order to get to uh, some fishing spots that we got we got like five fishing spots in this area we've got a lot of fish oh, yeah. to catch and eventually i'll need to change the weather Let's see, I know there's a tack ah uh well I know there's a tackle shop around here. But yeah, I don't want to do the photo op quest yet. Let's buy the stuff first. I think. Let me uh double check my map. I'm just thinking if I wanna do that first and because there's some fish that require it to be raining. So yeah, why don't we get the items first? Let's go. And then we'll uh, uh, change the weather. Make it rain. Okay, where are you? Oh, wow, I'm way off course. Uh, back. Yeah, there's a huge rock in the way. Okay, so there's one treasure around here. I think I saw it on the right there. Or it could have just been some light in the water. Why not? Okay, never mind then. Ah, there's one. And I think there's one on the other side too. Let's fish. Is it really that fun? Yeah, why not? Welcome. But, uh, okay, so we got a whole bunch of new lures to add to our collection. And I think we even get some better equipment out of it. And this stuff, well, you have to buy it. Can't get these from side quests, so get a little upgrade going there. Thanks. See, we can't warp back to a rest point because we haven't found one yet. Let me change up my equipment here first, Showtime. so I don't forget about it. Uh, let's see, what was that? Death Spin and Nareed, Nareed, I don't know, whatever that one is, however you pronounce that thing. Yeah, there's some other better fishing rods. I think they I'm guessing they were like DLC or something. But uh, yeah, I don't want to use those. Okay, so now, let's, uh... Oh, there's also one more treasure here. Probably spider silk. Yep. Okay, ne there's a haven right next to the parking spot. And then we can make it rain. Hopefully, without running out of my Chocobo uh, rental period. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, I'm just thinking if I need it to be daytime or nighttime. I don't think it matters for most of the fish that I'm going after. So, I'll just wait until it rains at either point in time. Okay, so where are we? Okay, yeah, let's go right there. That ought to be good enough. And get it to rain. Whatever time of day it is doesn't matter there we go 
Uh, Chocobo? Well, in any case, I'm not going to bother with resting up at the Haven yet. Because we've got a lot of fishing to do. And it would just take time off of my food buff. So we might as well not even bother with that. So first, I'm going to do a lot of the fishing. And then we'll do more of the exploration around here. But let me see if I can... Yeah, get down here. Thanks for the ride. So yeah, there's a lot of fishing spots in this area. Let's also turn on the vibrator. It's been too long since I last turned it on. Uh, game? Yeah, let's uh, save there and see what we can do. Okay, so for the next... Uh, what is that? For the first fish that I want to get, let me just uh, bring this up here. Oh, uh, uh, game. There you go. Okay, we can pause the game that way. Uh, let's see, where's the fishing? Okay. So at the Vesper Pool, let's see, I want to go for the Sapphire Snakehead fish first, since I think it requires it to be raining in order for it to show up. Okay, so for the first fish I want to catch, let's see, I want to use the Stinker Great Marlboro Lure. See, for the Sapphire Snakehead there. And it's a large blue dot on the minimap. Unfortunately, it seems like a lot of the big blue dots are out of range. Why they even bother putting them on the map, I don't know. Or at least that far away. But I suppose it is a big lake. There you go. Got him. Last one. I don't know if this is what I'm looking for, though. Oh! Well, that is another fish that we can catch here. You can use just about any lure to catch that guy. They were a small blue dot around there. Instead of what I really wanted. But this will do. See what else we got. Okay, someone lost interest. Hopefully the big blue one is good. Yes. Goodness. Well, this one seems to be a bit trickier. But yeah, there are a couple small fish that we can catch in this spot as well. Oh yeah, this one's taking uh, quite a bit longer to reel in there. Let's wait for it to dive. There we go. Yeah, I can hold down my reel button for two seconds at that point. Yep, still about two seconds, but now I'm going to have to get a little more cautious now that we're really close. Yeah, not even a full second that time. Oh, there we go. It looks blue. Though whether it actually is or not. There we go. The Sapphire Snakehead. All right. Massive. And then we just need one more fish around here. Let's see. Anything? I think just about any lure can catch the last fish I want. I don't think it needs to be raining, though. But uh, let me see if I can get some fish's attention. Small blue dot. See, I think I see some right there. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, maybe it's not just any lure that'll work on these guys. Or maybe we can if they start looking. Okay, there we go. Hmm, looks kind of like the first fish there. Didn't get a good look at it. Well, we'll see. This one's Last relatively one. small. Actually, time. it's a bit smaller than the first fish as far as stamina goes. Okay, let me get one more try. 
Eh, one or two more. And then I'll either save to... Uh, respawn the fish here, or whatever we got. Oh, or they could just lose interest almost instantly. That works too. Come on. Well, that looks, I think, different. But, yeah, they'll move around real fast. Changing directions. But, fortunately, they're not very strong, either. I have half my durability left, practically. Calm down. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna back out of here. And save scum to get the fish that I want. But it shouldn't be very difficult to find. At least as far as I can tell. Let's give this another go. Okay, so we're looking for a small blue dot. That responds to just about any lure. We don't need the yellow one, so I'm trying to stay out of range of that one. Maybe I never had the attention of the blue one in the first place. Well, we'll see. Maybe they don't respond to just any lure. But we'll see. Hmm. Turn the rod toward the fish. I'm doing that. Oh, this one's got really low stamina. It might be the one I'm looking for. We'll see. Hmm, you've improved. And what do we got? There we go, the Lotus Bluegill. Nice. Okay, now for the next fishing spot that I'm going to go to, there is also a fish that requires it to be raining. So, let me see where exactly it is. Hmm. I kind of forget exactly where it is. But uh, I'll just go across the water with the chocobo. And, like, ignore the monsters or treasure for now. Because I need to keep this weather condition for as long as possible. It would help if we could get the chocobo... To swim for us, but if need be, I will swim myself. Okay. Easy now. No, you can't swim yourself. You have to have the chocobo do the swimming for you. Not the entire lake is like deep water, though. But a lot of it is. Okay, let's go like in that general direction. But yeah, most of the lake is underwater it's just some of it is really shallow wonder what gladio's up to right now meeting girls probably son of a bitch <laughs> yes we got it i don't know what tark what got that dialogue to happen but we got it <laughs> ha ha now oh, the voice acting was perfect for that exchange <laughs> But, uh, okay, so, let's see, it'll eventually show up. Oh, I'm going in, like, the totally wrong direction. I mean, it's, uh, on the west bank of the area. Yeah, let's, uh, get out of there. Can't really fish while in combat anyway. I mean, you can try, but it... <sighs> Freezing. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. Cold if you don't wear your jacket. Yeah, there's a treasure over there, but uh, I'll pick that up later. Um, okay, so can we... Okay, it's got to be around here somewhere. But, yeah, I don't remember precisely where it is. Unfortunately, my map does not have those locations on them. Maybe I should have made a note of it. There it is! Okay. Now, if I can just... I hate these things. There's like these spikes coming out of the ground. We'll meet again. That get in your way and you can't jump over them for some godforsaken reason. But, at least we got some lures here. Or a fishing line as well. 
But, uh, okay. Get that going. Let's see what fish we got. Okay, so this one, I am looking for the fan bluegill. So, let's see. For that one, you need it to be raining. And I would... Well, I know what lure I need to use. Let's get in there. Okay, so we need the stinker regular Marlboro lure for this one. Or at least that's the one that seems to work for me. And this is a large blue dot in the area. Hopefully one of these two will be what I'm looking for. Hmm. Turn the rod toward the fish. Can you at least wait five seconds before giving me advice? I'm not that bad of a fisherman. I'm almost at max fishing level anyway. I probably will be by the time I'm done with this place. But, uh, nope, nope. Hmm, there was a... There must have been a small blue fish hiding behind that one. Or at least on the mini-map. What the hell was that? Okay, this might be what I'm looking for. Kind of hard to tell. Whoop. And these... Yeah, that's almost certainly the fish I'm looking for. You can tell because, well, it looks like it has a... A fan on it. And there we go. Nice. Oh. Let's see what we got. Well, it doesn't look blue to me, but it has a fan on it. Hooray! Okay, so I think I'll just keep going with this lure. Another lure you could use for the other fish that I'm looking for is... Uh, let's see... The, where is it? Yeah, the giant neat, we got the giant needle 10,000 centaur lures now. And the gold one works on a lot of different kinds of fish and times of day as well. And I actually don't want to use that because, well, a lot of fish might respond to that. And I don't want a lot of fish to respond Okay, so now, now we're looking for a small blue dot. So let's be careful since we know some of the large blue dots will go after that. But otherwise, I don't think this one is extraordinarily difficult. If I still have its attention, it's kind of hard to tell. Let's be careful here. I think I've lost interest. The fish has lost interest. Yeah, it's not going after me. Sometimes it just hangs there like that. Kind of annoying. Ah, the line's gonna snap. Do I have to replace my line to get you guys to shut up? I probably do. Normally I wouldn't use a dragon's beard for weak fish like this. But, uh, I just have it left over from, what was that, Doral Caverns the last time I fished? But in any case, well, that was not what I was looking for. Okay, let's see, how many others do we got? Okay, I'll try to go for, like, one or two more fish before reloading the fishing spot there. Turn the rod toward the fish. Well, it hasn't moved in a direction yet. Hmm, I don't think this is it. It's a little too easy for the fish that I'm looking for. I mean, it does have low stamina, but I don't think this low. But uh, we can give it another try. This other fish doesn't care what time of day it is, at least as far as I can tell, or Man, weather patterns. Isn't there anything big here? Well, hopefully they don't mind the foliage around here. Oh, no, they lost interest. They're not even in my not feeling ambitious. circle. I am ambitious. But these fish aren't, evidently. For another day. No need to force it. Yeah. 
So, are you actually interested, or are you just stringing me along? Both literally and figuratively. I don't think that fish is, like, actually there. Like, it's just... Yeah, it's not even going after this at all. I don't know what's going on with that. But, uh, okay, let's get out of here and, uh, save scum to get the fish that I want. It doesn't appear to be around there. Let's try that one again. It's showtime. Okay, you know what? Let's try a different lure here. Let's see. Well, if anything's gonna work, it'll be this one. But, uh, I seem to be having trouble getting the fish I want to respond to the other lure for some reason. Come so on, this one works on almost on. anything. Or at least as far as, like, time of day goes. Well, that looks different. I think. Well, they're definitely interested. Not that interested, apparently. Well, let's give it another go. There you go! Let's see, this might be what I'm looking for. I don't think this fish cares about the time of day or the weather pattern. But maybe it does and my source just doesn't list anything for it. Whoop! Oh, this guy doesn't die for very long. I can barely hold down the real button for a half second or something. Well, it looks different than the other fish. I don't nice. know if that's a good thing or not. But it is! There we go! The panther bass! Alright, that one seemed to respond to the gold gigantar lure better. Lots Though I'd never Indeed. noticed a particular affinity for that one. Okay, so as far as the other spots go, I know there's one over there and one over there. I think the other one's over here. I could very well be wrong about that. I do know that there is a fish coming up that I need it to be nighttime in order to catch. And let's see. Okay, so we did the east bank, the west bank. Yeah, it's at the next location. Easy now. The cape. Not that you can really have much of a cape around here. No capes! But uh, we'll take a look around. So yeah, you can't just walk along shallow water to get to the remaining fishing spots. At least as far as I know. We'll see where this thing is. There's always going to be a dock wherever your fishing spot is. Ah, there we go. Well, that was easier than I expected. It's evening already. Time flies hmm. when you're having fun. Maybe it's daylight savings time. Yeah, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. But uh, all right. Okay, so we made it. And how are we looking? But uh, yeah. So we got one over here, and yeah, we still got a lot of other fish. To catch in the Vesper Pool. Can we catch them all? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.